My dad really likes to get his own way. Like, no matter what, he wants it. And in a way, that could be a good thing. But most of the time, it wasn't. My dad and my stepmom, they loved each other, but they couldn't stand each other. That made my dad upset. He would go into deep depression. He would, um, he would sleep in all day. He would barely eat. I remember my stepmom coming upstairs and waking me up at 2 a.m. and said, uh, Dad needs to talk to you. He's sitting outside on a bench. And I sat next to him. He pulls off his wedding ring and says, take care of this, I won't be here tomorrow. And then ran into the house, took 180 painkillers, and tried to commit suicide. I just had the ring in my hand and I'm just looking at it. My stepmom called the ambulance and he was sent off to Sacred Heart for maybe three months. He changed. I guess I did something he didn't like. He started, you know, he says, oh, I'm, I'm gonna discipline you. He was, you know, throwing me around. He was pinning me on the floor. Pushing me into doorways. My stepmother was there and she was in the other room. She just let it all happen. I was screaming, I was crying. Trying I to run away, hide. The next day, it didn't seem like it usually does for me at school, like kind of an escape. It was, there were people staring at me, not talking to me. There's a mirror up on the wall. And I stood up in front of that mirror and I was shocked. I had rug burns on the side of my face, either side. I had bruises on my neck. I had a bruise on my arm. And um, that incident was the first. It was like a fire starter to a lot of things after that. About six months after moving to Roseburg, he ended up being more, you know, starting to get back into that more physical abuse stuff. He puts his hand around my neck, pushes me to the ground. He says, don't you and dare go. I started kicking and fighting back. And pushed me against the wall and started yelling at me some more. And, um, Her other teachers started noticing that she wasn't you know, doing as well, so it was definitely getting worse at home. Just lots and lots of verbal abuse. It wasn't just from her father, it was also from the rest of the step family. It was just, I felt really lonely. It was really, really lonely. When I talked to a social worker, she said, well, we can change this, you know, we can make, you know, your life can be better we can see if we can put you in foster care. I thought about it for a day and she called me and I said, okay, I think this is what I need to do. And I mean, it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna do it. She decided that she was gonna be above all of that and she has done an amazing job. Getting out of that and being free in a way of getting out of the cycle was definitely hopeful. It, it, brought thing. It made me feel happier. When you first meet her, immediately you're just struck by uh, just how happy this individual is. Throughout this entire ordeal, even when she was going through some of her rougher patches, she's always had that positive outlook. Life is good. There's bumps and rocky roads, but you get through them. I mean, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Just her overwhelming positiveness, just to sort of persevere. She just is incredibly driven. I've always been interested in school and I was always excited to learn. I have a 3.87 GPA. I do cross country in the fall, swim in the winter, and I run the hurdles and track in the spring. I do volunteer hours and been aides in classrooms. Artistic talents are right up there at the top. I see her going between many different types of kids on our campus, which is, I think is just unique for a teenager. From the first moment I met her, I knew that she was a special girl. My current foster family, um, they're a pair of amazing people. I mean, I call them mom and dad because that's what I see them to me. If you have ever considered it, it's something that you should try. We have had an amazing experience with Becky and so many of the kids really just need to be loved, you know? I would like to be a teacher, so I want to study education. I guess I want the feeling of, you know, impacting somebody's life. Like I can do with the teachers who've helped me. I can say, oh, this teacher helped me, and I'm really thankful for what they've done, and I just want someone to say that about me once.